Hello YouTube. Well, here we are on a stormy day here in Atlanta and just doing a little leather work. Here's my leather tackle box, I guess you can call it. And just doing a sheath for Cliff. It's just being roughed out. I was working on the um, the um, hanger here portion this morning and um, once I do the final shaping on this to get the sheet the shape I want it then we will um, take the front here and that will be glued on and then we'll make a mold that all down. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I hope it will. I've, I've got an idea this time. Rather than um, stitch it, I'm going to take these, let's see if I can get you up here on this a little bit better, these copper rivets, and I put that through there and then this washer goes on it and then you rivet it into place and you can see I've done that to hold this main hanger on and I countersunk these with a big drill so that they won't um, won't scrape the knife all up and then the washer goes on the outside. I peen that over. I like it. It gives me a nice old rustic look. And don't have to worry about that ever coming off. And uh, then the hanger itself is put on with four screws that um, I put on with uh, blue Loctite so that they won't come loose. And you could, you know, if this ever tears up, then you still could get these out and, and replace it with um, with a new piece of leather and just reuse those screws. So if any time in the future Cliff needs to redo it, it should be pretty much repairable. And anyway, that's all the farther we've gotten so far, so I guess I'm going to have to watch out here for the weather. We have um, tornadoes on the ground and uh, in different places and the weather's just off to the west of us I don't know how good all that's going to show up out the window but um, the wind's just starting to blow the, they said that there's straight line winds up to 70 and 80 miles an hour they've had um, one tornado has touched down in a town just to the west of us uh, maybe Oh, I don't know, 20, 30 miles over, maybe a little more. Not too far, though. And they said there was some pretty major damage uh, in the downtown area. They've got uh, a lot of the hook echoes, as they call them, around. And it's, um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty serious uh, situation right now. I don't know how well you can see those trees back there but now the wind is starting to come in and they said that um, even if you don't have a tornado that a lot of these winds are the same you know straight line winds are the same force as a uh, you know a small or a weak tornado and of course that concerns me and let's walk you outside and I will show you why the uh, winds always come from the same direction and um, as you can see right here we have that big old monster right there and um, 
that thing has been there quite a while and I'm, I'm somewhat concerned about it. We have a pine tree over here that uh, is also really big. I think those would be the two main threats to the house. And then possibly that pine there. I hate pine trees. I, I love pine trees in one way, but I hate them in front of a house. And uh, I wish I could get them down and get them out of here. I guess I'm going to have to do that at some time. But uh, this is the calm before the storm, I guess you call it. And uh, hopefully we'll be all right. We've got uh, the weather alert radios and the TVs are going and everything. Mary's just a weather fanatic. We've got our own little um, weather station right here. I hope that's showing up. I'm not. Uh, there it is. And uh, that's a remote sensing one that goes inside the house. And about 60 degrees or so right now. And just hope that this will bypass us and I hope and pray that no one else will get hurt in, in all this. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty serious situation this time. The uh, storms are also moving very fast and with the, uh, the temperature differential is coming in so quick that we're getting a lot of rotation in a lot of places and um, I'm trying to get this up towards the top of the trees. I think you can see they're starting to pick up. We'll get really uh, really bad gusts and then it'll back off for a second. There's a big magnolia over in my neighbor's yard. I don't think it's much danger to their house, but boy, if that falls, they're going to have a mess to clean up. It's gigantic. <laughs> it's hard to explain how big that thing is just from uh, just from the video here but anyway YouTube we'll keep you posted and keep your eye on the sky that's what I'm doing right now and I hope everybody out there today is good and safe talk to you later here's uh, here's our little wind whirly gig and as you can see it's getting a workout right now and that one doesn't turn real well so for it to turn at all there's a pretty good wind blowing on through here well, take it easy we'll talk to you later